Hello guys, today I will have a quick lesson on live wire components and specifically how to make an event from one component to another component. And also you can see I have a new microphone, so another attempt to solve the problem of fans of MacBook or background noises. So a new microphone, recommendation from colleague David, so thank you David. And this is Shura MV7 microphone. I will link it in the description of this video if anyone is interested, but now let's get to live wire. And by the way, shoot in the comments whether the quality of sound is good enough. So imagine a project, for example, an eShop or a catalog where you can add something to cart or to wish list or buy something. And when you click add to cart, another place changes. So this is a live wire component and that is another live wire component, which may be in totally different places of the page. So in the code, I actually have two live wire components, which is products for the list and card counter for the count. And card counter blade is just a simple div with variable card amount and products is a full table with data. So what exactly is happening when I click add to cart? In the products live wire component that add to cart is here. So if you open products blade add to cart is wire click prevent add to cart with product ID. And what it does adds the database entry. And in this case, it's a simplified example. So there's no user, there's no any other parameter, it's just product ID. And then in the database, it appears if we refresh like this. So just the product ID, then it adds that product to the array of card products, which then is used in the table itself. So for this check, and then what it does, this emit event. So update card is an event which is fired from this live wire component to any other live wire component. And if you want to listen to that event in any other live wire component, for example, in my card counter, you have this. And this is, by the way, an example from my live wire kit set of components. That's why I have design template of Tailwind and Bootstrap. If you are interested in all the components, you can go to livewirekit.com. So for this example, card counter listens to the update card event and fires the method, which is render. And render just shows that blade with card count from the database. So whenever I click add to cart, refreshes the database, two entries, and then that event is fired, card count equals two, and then that two is appearing here. Remove from cart, cart one, refresh, there is only one entry because there is an event remove card method removed, remove from card, sorry. It's the opposite thing, deleting from the database, deleting from the array and emitting the same event. With events, you can be more creative, like passing the parameter of product ID equals something like this. And then adding that as a parameter here and maybe show a better message like with product ID or something. But in general, this emit fires the event, which could be caught in any other live wire component. As I mentioned, if you want more live wire components, I have livewirekit.com already launched pretty recently with 20 live wire components, which you can purchase all for $19 one-time payment. And that's it for this video. As I said, please tell me if the sound quality is good enough with your microphone and see you guys in other videos.